What the hell is up guys, Harmonious here, and I'm starting my vlog inside Target parking lot once again. Even though I've been getting kicked out of here the past couple of days, I just want to get a little warm-up session in before I go meet up with Dang Kwan later in the day. So the plan today is basically to skate this ledge for a little bit, and then I'm supposed to go meet up with Dang Kwan later on from Dang Kwan TV. He has a very popular Twitch stream, and I've actually been trying to get on the live streaming game as well, start live streaming Fortnite and start live streaming IRL as well. So I actually hit up Dang Kwan for help to set up my stream account and YouTube gaming account. So Dang Kwan said he could help me out with that. Hopefully today I'm gonna meet up with him, but either way, Let's get started on the skate set. Go, go, Harmonious World out there! Harmonious. Very, very harmonious. Scrumpily, obviously harmonious. Peace. One last quick note before I start the skate sessions. I want to give a huge shout out to this brand right here. It's called Pervi Brand. To translate that, that means number one brand. It's a brand from Russia and it's owned by this guy who actually used to be a Russian rapper and he actually turned into a clothing company. So he hooked me up with one of these hats and I just want to give them a shout out. He didn't ask for a shout out or anything, but I just want to give him a little shout out for giving me this hat because this thing's pretty awesome. Either way, let's start skating. <laughs> up on my vlogs the past couple of days you know that like a week ago I broke my mic that I've been using for like the past year but luckily the awesome Lena the plug hooked it up with a mic that I can borrow I'm actually trying to buy the exact same mic that she's letting me borrow right now so this is actually giving me a good practice use this mic and see how it works boom and here I am Brooklyn projects I actually haven't been here in a while and I also haven't bought a new skateboard in a long ass time so I think I'm gonna bite the bullet buy a new board and enjoy the hell out of it so that's what I'm about to go do Let's the Brooklyn projects skateboard rack I usually always get bakers or reels I'm wondering what I should get this time Okay, none of these boards right here are 8.5 and I only skate 8.5, so I had to search through the pile and I found the only board that was 8.5. Very random graphic. It says fully sick. I have not filmed anything in the back of here for a long ass time. I kind of miss filming in here because the lighting's really good. Denquan has yet to reply to my message, so I'm thinking that we might not meet up today once again, but uh, that's perfectly fine. If you guys watch any person who does an IRL live stream, their life is actually really hectic and very random, so I'm not surprised at all that we did not meet up. Either way, I got my new board. No offense to anyone that might find this phrase right here offensive, but I don't know, I just bought the board because it was kind of funny, and it was the only one they had an 8.5. So a cute artsy video of me setting up this new board. Let's get it. And there we go, finally set up this new board. That took a really long time. I think it's because I haven't set up any new boards in a while. And I actually can't even remember the last time I skated a completely fresh deck. So I'm really hyped on that. Either way, I have about 30 minutes to 40 minutes before the sun sets. So I'm gonna try and get as many tricks as possible on this mini ramp before the sun goes down. So I think anyone who keeps up with the skating portion of my vlogs will know that I suck at transition. I don't have too many transition tricks and I actually just tend to stay away from like transition quarter pipes and stuff like that. I have a couple tricks, a couple go-to tricks that I can do almost every try, but I haven't been really trying to learn any new tricks on transition recently and I'm not exactly sure why. Maybe I just enjoy skating street more, but those are all the tricks I was able to do for now. Right now the plan is to go grab a little snack and head to the OSS shop to go meet up with Chris Long. So let's get it. <laughs> Phil. Oh, what are you doing? Watch your 
Your back hurt. <laughs> Later that day, I went to a radio station with Adam and Chris. Huge shout out to Adam for taking me in the first place because that was very unexpected, but we ended up going to a radio station. We hung out there for a couple hours and I learned a lot about the radio business. It was really interesting to see these people at work in, in the studio. And one of the main things that really impressed me is how these guys were able to have a normal conversation with the person and then within a minute jump on the radio and just become this radio guy with the radio voice without messing up a single word. It was really cool to watch and it's just crazy how articulate and how fast these guys are with their words. And I also filmed a bunch of stuff at the radio station but Chris Long was right there next to me and he was actually filming for Adam's vlog so I didn't want to use a bunch of footage that Adam had already used in his vlog and my vlog. Instead I'm just going to refer you guys to his YouTube channel which is Adam22. I'm pretty sure that almost all of you guys are subscribed to him already but in case none of you aren't go subscribe to Adam22 and watch his second most recent video about Lil Skies causing a car crash on Melrose in front of the OSS shop. It was actually that day that we went to the studio and Chris got way better footage than any of the stuff I got because his camera works way better under low lighting situations. Either way this has been another random video and like I've said before I've been doing a lot of helping for other people and other people's YouTube channels and huge shout out to Adam22 once again for getting me this plug where I've been actually helping out Lena with her YouTube channel as well recently. I'm really hoping that goes somewhere as well so I've actually just been focusing most of my time on those videos and I do not have time to focus on my own YouTube channel which sucks because I want to be filming and editing content for you guys. I honestly feel really bad when I have all these comments saying like people love my content, they love watching my videos, they watch my videos daily and then I don't post for 3-4 days so I, I honestly feel really bad about that but I am trying to work it out where I can post at least five days a week. But in the meantime, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, please leave a comment expressing your freedom of speech in the comment section. Do not forget to subscribe if you guys are not subscribed already and please click that notification button so you guys will be notified when I drop a video because right now I have no consistency. I don't have any plans on when I can film something because my schedule is really random right now. So just click that notification button so you guys can watch my videos when I drop them. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a good one. Peace. I fell in love with the juice. I put an egg in a fan. Then I grabbed a cup and I poured a deuce. I fell in love with the juice. I fell in love with the juice. Mr. Gus found it, I checked.